Hey, what's up? It's Blake here in my warehouse wearing the most ridiculous hat I've ever worn. It's a wool hat with a suede bill from Banff, Ontario. Not Ontario. Manitoba? It's a ski resort somewhere in Canada. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. This video, though, is not about that. It's not about the hat I bought for a dollar. It's about these VCRs right here. Uh, how to prep them for FBA or eBay shipments, uh, more importantly. It's right here. This is the finished product. This is a VCR. If you can believe it, uh, it is the, let's see, I have it written right here. Sanyo Sharp, not Sanyo, Sharp VCA542U. That's the model number. And in order to sell this, one of these bad boys on Amazon FBA, we have to use our supplies to make it look like this, right? And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. And once you're done, you can go to my other video, your first Amazon FBA shipment. That's a walkthrough tutorial and you'll see, okay, this is pretty easy. I can do all these things right now. Uh, but first things first, here's how you get your VCR so it can be UPS to your nearest Amazon location or even your eBay customer. If you wanna sell the VCR but you don't know how to package, you can do this as well. Basically, it's just a good way to keep the VCR or VCR DVD combo, whatever, secure. The first thing I do is put the model number on a little 30 up label like this. It's a JVC HR XVC15. And then this right here means uh, it's oversized. I use that for oversized. I put a, a letter O with a cross through it. I know that it, that's a zero, but it just is easier to uh, tell the difference between that and like some scribbles or whatever. It's a very, a very, uh, premeditative mark you can't make that on accident so i use that to say if it's standard or oversized and that's important because if you have them mixed up and commingled it's going to make your shipments a lot more messy and they're going to go to a lot of different locations but if you have all the oversized in one box and all the standards in one box it'll make your uh, destinations a lot faster okay the next thing i want to do right here is uh grab a piece of tape and this gun i have right here pull it off and then tape the uh plastic bubble wrap to the side like so of the VCR and the camera's gonna jiggle because I have the camera uh, instead of a tripod because mine broke it's actually sitting on the you can see right there in the bottom corner uh, on the roll of bubble wrap itself or, or actually a different color roll uh, because obviously this is orange and that's white but that isn't the point they're all, it's all bubble wrap at all it all is the same thing uh, and then slowly we're gonna take it and wrap it around like like this once around. Uh, I prefer the bubble wrap with the big bubbles as opposed to the small bubbles. It costs a little bit more, but it does a better job protecting, in my opinion. Then we're gonna cut this off like so and give it a nice flush cut. And then again, tape it on. And once the side of your VCR is taped, you can uh, take the cord, wrap the cord up like this, and then tape the cord to the top of this layer uh, of bubble wrap. What is this? God, come on, come on, cut off, cut off. This is, the, that's how you know it's good bubble wrap. When you can't cut it with a pair of scissors, you know it's good. This is crazy. Anyways. <laughs> have the uh, cord wrapped up and then I tape it to the top like this, top of the uh, first layer of bubble wrap and then I go over it again with a second layer of bubble wrap, kind of like longitude and latitudinal lines. So the entire, the entire unit is going to be covered in bubble wrap uh, from one side or the other. And that just, uh, not only does it help keep your unit in good shape it also looks more professional uh, and they're gonna your seller your buyer is gonna be like oh okay this person they really uh, care about my VCR and so uh, if it breaks or doesn't work or whatever I will give them the benefit of the doubt and then again tape this and when it's all taped we uh, go to the next step which is this our shrink wrap right here this is five inch tall by a thousand feet wide. It's too expensive in stores. Um, I believe it's 827 a roll at Home Depot, but I'm buying hopefully a lot of it from China. Uh, I wanna import this stuff and hopefully I can sell it to you guys 
if you're a member of the Facebook group, which I'll have a link below, um, I would love to do that because 825 for this, that's crazy. The price I was quoted was like 250 a roll uh, delivered from China. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some samples out of there and see if it holds up as good as this. What you want to do here is just roll it around, roll it around, make sure all the edges are tight. You don't want to have any uh, bubble wrap falling out the sides. And then when you have a good enough uh, roll, you want to pull it tight like this. And then you're going to see how it kind of self adheres right there. Uh, stretch wrap so it's going to stick to itself. The last step you want to do is take your label and just put it on the top. I put it on the edge, and so when it's in the box, uh, I use medium-sized boxes that are 18 by 16 by 16. You can just stack them up four in a row and then one over the top of them, so that's five. Uh, and five of these labels, FBA labels, will also fit on a um, thermal, uh, how, whatever size the thermal printers are. So you can just use your, your Zebra thermal printer to print off five FBA labels and save a lot of money on ink. And that's basically it. Short little video. Hope it helped. That's how you prep electronics, VCRs, DVD VCR combos, DVD recorders, whatever, 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 for Amazon FBA. Very simple. Bu uh, tape, bubble wrap down, stretch wrap, and then your label with the model number put it on the edge so you can see it easily when you're putting them in boxes. It's going to make your prep time and your scan time a lot faster. Let's make a bunch of money. If you're not in the Facebook group, it's a bunch of resellers. We are great people, very, very supportive. Join below. It'll be free until 1,000 people, and we're at about 330 right now. It's been two months, month and a half. Uh, join as fast as you can, and I'll see you later.